we decided that several years ago what we really needed was a way to engage our very, very hardcore fans, the ones that love Halloween, come every year, but also wanted more out of the event. So working with uh, X Studios, we found that we could uh, generate a, a, an entire new fiction. Each of our guests were given an RFID card that was registered in their name with their email address and their contact information. That gave them the opportunity to identify with a specific backstory, but at the same time, it gave them um, what turned out to be one of the most important aspects of the whole project, a social interaction with their fellow Legionnaires. Amazingly, over 700,000 games were played the first year. One of the most interesting things about the experience is that we had to develop 16 games, both single and multiplayer, so that players could compete against each other in real time. We had over 100 different achievements that could be unlocked by playing games online or scanning an RFID badge in park, which would show up on their Facebook account or on their online profile. It soon became clear that their amazing dedication to making sure they got the right amount of points, that they got the right badges, became an integral part of this. So how it worked was they'd go and they'd do a task. They would uh, then check their email or they would get a text message or they could go online and within seconds they were awarded that which they had hoped to achieve, which was they visited five haunted houses in t two hours or they did them in a certain order. Whatever it was, uh, it, it proved to be amazingly effective. We could not have done it without the collaboration and the creativity that we got from X Studios. Aside from the fact that you want to entertain people, uh, really, what's the business reason for doing this? And the, and the answer is pretty simple. If you buy a ticket to uh, an event like Halloween Horror Nights, even a, what they, we call the frequent fear pass, the chances are you're going to come for three nights, maybe four. The people playing Legendary Truth would come back on the average of nine to 12 nights. Every user interaction was tracked from the time they entered the park to the time they left the park, from what houses they visited and when, how many times, in what order. That's extremely important information for, you know, pricing and for all of the things that the, you know, the, the business people in behind all of this, that's, that's what they want to know. How long were they there? How much time did they spend doing this and that and so on? How many badges do you believe you have? I believe I have somewhere around 70 of them. 70 badges? Yeah. The, the cool part about, you know, in park is it's, it's kind of, you get this feeling of legendary truth uh, is, is playable anywhere. You know, you show up here for, for Horror Nights and, uh, you know, you do the tasks here, you have the Empire, you have the scanning going through the houses, you have the tasks that, that they give us every single night. And then you, uh, you also have the experience where you go home and you can play uh, these awesome online games that tie back into the legions that we've all pledged our allegiance to. My name's Corey, and I am proud to be a Morphin. We're, We're both backnoids. the best Bacnoids. My name's Justin, and I'm a Morphin. My name's Thomas, and I am a Cerebin. I'm Ryan, I am a Morphin for life. The best legion. <laughs> we would push a request across the desk to X Studios and it would come back so much better than what we had hoped for that it was just a joy to get on conference calls and talk about what well, could you do this because they would always come back with better ideas that enhance the experience. To me, they're a strategic part of our creative team.